Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today we are at Ziegler Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Granville, Michigan taking a look at the Ram Rebel. This is a 1500. This is a granite crystal metallic color. In the front you have your Ram logo grille along with a powder coated black bumper which is really nice. You also have exclusive Rebel fog lights on the bottom. You do have the LED projection headlights up top, which are very nice. Coming back around, you got nice tow hooks that stick out a good, good amount. Coming down the side of the vehicle, this particular Rebel has Toyo Open Countries. These are 285-70R17s. That being said, this is the 17-inch Rebel wheel. On both sides of the vehicle, you do have your blacked out Hemi 5.7 badging along with your RAM badging. This particular spec comes with black powder coated running boards. This is a crew cab. Very nice looking truck. This also does come with fender flares from the factory. Coming to the rear, you see they continue the powder coating on the rear bumper. You do have your dual chrome exhaust right there, which sounds really nice. Up top you have your 4-pin connector, and then below that you have your 7-pin connector. You do have your RAM logo on the back, which is really nice. This particular one does come with a backup camera. And here's your Rebel badging. These are the smoked sport style headlight, or taillights, I should say. I look very nice. This truck does come from the factory with a bed liner in it. Looks real nice. It also has bed LED lighting. So at nighttime, if you need to get into the back and you need help finding something, you do have lighting. Now that I've showed you the exterior, let's take a look at that 5.7 liter Hemi engine. This 5.7 liter Hemi produces 395 horsepower and 410 foot-pounds of torque. As you can see, there's a lot of room in the engine bay. This also has an 8-speed automatic transmission. Let's take a look at the interior. Alright, we are now in the driver's seat of the Ram Rebel. Starting off with the, to our left, we do have the lock and unlock buttons along with all of your window controls. Left mirror, right mirror control. Moving on, we do have your bed lighting, which does come with this vehicle. Uh, and up top, above that, you have your other lighting settings. You have auto, on, those are your ambers, those are just regular lights. Above that, we have heating and cooling vent. Moving over to the gauges. In my opinion, I feel like Ram has the best gauges of all of the big three. They look real nice. There's not a lot of clutter everywhere. And you have a lot of customization when looking at certain parameters and picking what you want to see. Um, over here, I don't know if you can see or pick up on camera, there is like mud treads it looks like on both of the center things where the, the needles are located. You have this nice screen in the middle where you can monitor whatever you'd like. Um, as you scroll through right here, it shows you what's coming up next and what you're currently on, which I think is, is really nice. Moving back to the steering wheel, you do have a leather wrap steering wheel, which feels really nice in your hands. On this side, you have your controls for the information on the screen, along with your hands-free calling options. On this side, you have all your cruise control settings, and you can select what gear you want to be in up top. On the back, on the right side, you have your volume knob, and on the left side, you have your seek or preset options. Moving over, you do have a rotary style um, shift, 
and you do have push button start. Uh, down here, you have four wheel lock, four wheel low, two wheel, and neutral. You also ha have a trailer brake from the factory included in this specification. Up here, you have another vent, you have a sunglass tray, and you do have the Alpine premium sound system, which sounds absolutely amazing. Here is your 8.4 inch Uconnect touchscreen with navigation. Something I like about Chrysler Fiat is they made the controls for the climate touchscreen and they actually give you the option to use physical buttons. Um, I feel like the buttons are laid out perfectly, you know, nice ergonomics. Uh, easy to understand AC this is your driver that's your passenger settings for heat um, this is how high the, the vehicle will sit uh, traction control off tow haul mode heated seats heated steering wheel parking sensors off and that is heated seats for the passenger you do get a little cubby right here along with a 115 volt or 150 watt AC outlet which is nice to have top over here you do have the rebel badging along with a good amount of storage up top and then below you have even more storage which is awesome going over to this side you do have a little cubby underneath the passenger vent and you have storage in the doors along with a couple cup holders down there these are those seats I was talking about nice bolstering Rebel badging and it has the tread of the tires on this vehicle it May not necessarily be the exact tread on this vehicle, but it does have some sort of aggressive tread that feels really nice Coming back here you have probably the best center console for trucks. I have uh, I have seen Nice nice size cup holders really deep storage along with a 12 volt right here underneath the phone holder and you have even more storage up under here moving to this console this is a 40 console 40 seat and you have a shallow tray for storage money spot usb let's see if i can get in there so you can see uh, usb auxiliary and then another usb nice for papers or pens and then you open this and you have a very deep storage down here you also have spot for pens up here uh, something that I also like too is they give you little uh, indentations so cords can come out if you're charging things moving up top you do have your universal garage door opener along with your rear window open and close and then above that you have your moonroof settings open close vent and then your map lights open this moonroof very nice vanity mirror is lighted and it is actually fairly big it does block a good amount of the sun that is your speaker for your hands-free calling setting uh, something that I like that Ram does is they give you a handle to get in on the driver's side and the passenger side there are other truck manufacturers out there that do not do that and I'm not a fan um, now that I've showed you the front let's go to the back and see how much leg room we have getting into this vehicle is really easy with these running boards uh, before you get in I want to show you this this is Ram storage you can probably fit I don't know 12 cans in there and they are on both sides which is really nice to have so now we can get into the vehicle and uh, check it out once again the seat is where it would be if I was driving and I am 5'11 I'd say I have a solid 8 inches 8 to 9 inches of space between the back of the seat and my knees you have a little bit of storage here along with storage here and a cup holder there you do have handles on both sides to get in and out of the vehicle coming down here you do have your heating and cooling 
for the rear passengers, which is really nice, along with a 12 volt plug. Over here, you have the same exact uh, tread pattern up front on the seats. You do have a pull down armrest or cup holder, and these seats do fold up to give you more space in the cab. So, overall, I'm really impressed with the legroom back here and how much space you actually have. Also, I'm a huge fan that the back actually gets heating and cooling. Um, I know other manufacturers do not do that, and I wish they would, but that's a huge plus. Here's a shot of the front of the vehicle from the back seat. Let's go take a look at the tailgate. All right. This tailgate does lock and unlock with the key fob, so it's locked. Now it's unlocked. <laughs> it is not assisted like some other manufacturers have, but it's easy enough to put up with two fingers. Let's see if I can even do it with one. One finger. So it's really light. It's not that big of a deal. Overall, this vehicle is absolutely gorgeous. That granite crystal metallic looks so good on this vehicle. I do like the, the smoked sport tail lights as well. One last thing I wanted to go over, the base price on this vehicle is $47,195. Comes with a 26 gallon fuel tank, 8.4 inch touchscreen display, seven inch Rebel reconfigurable instrument cluster, power 10 way driver, six way passenger seats, power sunroof, blacked out badging, luxury group, nine Alpine speaker with subwoofer, which is awesome. The total spec on this vehicle comes out to $55,280. You do have a little bit of a two-tone going on, black on bottom, gray on top. If you are interested in this vehicle or you'd like a Rebel spec'd out a particular way, Come down to Ziegler Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, located in Granville, Michigan. Talk to salesman Matt Griffin. Like always, his information will be in the description. Thanks for watching.